Elizabeth Wagley herself is a happy introvert. And now we can all benefit from that. suggests that it's a little bit like uh, the Monty Python, uh, the Monty Python sketch where all the hermits are getting together all the time, <laughs> and and chatting with each other. Maybe maybe introverts are a little bit like that. In any case, uh, it is a real pleasure for us to host uh, not only someone who's been a, a best-selling author at the store for many years, but uh, a much-loved neighbor and friend. Please help us warmly welcome Elizabeth Wakeley. funny um, article on the internet but written, written by a Finnish woman and she says all Finnish people are introverts and she said you can tell when somebody likes you because instead of looking at their feet they're looking at your feet. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, but I'm going to have to get to my talk soon because I, I can't do small talk. Um, it's one thing you learn really fast about introverts. I don't have a clue what small talk is. Um, so anyway, here I go. <laughs> um, he's going to get me some water. Can you see? There, there. Oh. I have to fill up my stuff. Okay. <laughs> After these people sit down, I'll start. I want to tell you what introversion is. And really, it's true. People don't understand it. First of all, we're all introverted and extroverted. You can't get through a single day without using both. So let me tell you what introversion is. You all right now are being are using your introversion. You're listening, you're quiet, you're inactive physically. And I'm using my extroversion. Sadly. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm trying to explain something and, and get my ideas that I've thought about a lot out. It's easy for me to think about things and write about things in my study. That's when I'm very happiest and um, the natural. And then when I have to extrovert them is now. And you're all listening. So, but we all do both all the time. There's a continuum all the time from introversion to extroversion. And we're all doing both, you know, every day. So, an extrovert is somebody who extroverts naturally and does maybe does a little more than an introvert. So, we should all know what both of those things are. We're hardwired. When we come into the world, to be sensitive to loud noises and big crowds, and that's why we're called diminishers. We have busy minds compared to extroverts. Our minds are going, going, going inside, and a lot of people don't realize that. And extroverts have uh, minds that want more stimulation, and so they want, they like to be around people because people are very stimulating. And so they like big crowds, and they like more noise. So that's one of the things that distinguishes extroverts from introverts. And then we have a different way of processing the information we get. So it's not just about shyness, and that's what most people think it is. They think, okay, you're an introvert, you're shy. 
not true. You don't have to be shy to be an Easter. You have to drink water. <laughs> okay. Now, so introverts process information that comes in longer and slower. If an extrovert comes in this room, he'll know what's going on right away. The next introvert coming in this room might check it out, wonder, ponder it. And I have a really good cartoon that shows this. This says, introverts reflect on new information at length and react relatively slowly. So we're not stupid, we just might look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Extroverts are geared more for action, so they reflect and react almost at the same time. They were so different that way in the way we process information. So that's a really distinct difference between introverts and extroverts. Does anybody have a question about this? How many introverts are here? <laughs> How many extroverts? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the extroverts agree? Yeah, and that's sort of like maybe when we were cave people, maybe the introverts stayed home and tended the fire, and were the shamans. And the extroverts went out and killed the beasts for the food. I mean, I had to start somewhere. <laughs>